Hi guys, welcome to a, another episode of Space Engineers. Um, today, it's a bit of a Space Engineers Star Citizen mashup. Um, this is a work in progress, obviously. As you can see, some of you may recognise this as a um, caterpillar. Um, it's as close as I'm going to get it at the minute. Um, see the engines at the back there. These engines are just for sure that are on the side because obviously they're not attached. They're attached to motors so they rotate. So they're on because I have a huge reactor uh, in this section here. So in here is a huge reactor to make them obviously light up and then there's the motor there you see. So out here, these are just for show. They don't, <laughs> they don't work at all. You you can't power the ship from it, unfortunately. Then up here we have the main engines, which will actually power the ship. Now whether I've got enough boot out of uh, three of the large engines or not to make this thing move, I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. I don't have a cockpit. Um, there are a lot of little engines there to help it stop and there's one big one twisted the other way to replicate the pipes. Down here is a bit pipey and techy looking um, just to try and replicate some of the pipe work that's on top as well. There are actually refineries and conveyors that are down there to make it look like that. Uh, as you see, there's no cockpit section yet, as I haven't built that side of it. Uh, it is segmented, I think there's five on the picture that I have. Um, again, no gravity in here yet, but I'll show you. The scale is about to what Star Citizen has it, I think. So that's me stood down there now. And you go across... And then I'll obviously have some ladders to get up there. This isn't the final configuration for these. This is just how I've built them all at the minute. Um, and then you come through here and there's another compartment there. Another one there. Another one. Obviously some of these will have the, the roofs taken out and it'll be just one big cargo area. And then uh, another one there which is like the half one that's at it, and then you get to the engine room. So plenty of engines, uh, plenty of uh, reactors anyways, let's put it that way. And a load of gyros. Um, and then you come through to this area, which is where whoop, the engines are. Now let me save this before I do this in case it breaks the actual ship. So, here's the motors. So if I go velocity just just slowly. Whoops, it's a little much. Plus sixteen on that one. It's not the most accurate thing to friggin' do. I'd like I'd like him to change it so it's a little more accurate. So that'll be minus 16 because motor 2 is the opposite one, so that's got to go a different way. Okay, that's close enough. So if we quickly go out here, did I turn the other one on? I think I forgot to turn the other one on, but there's one rotating, anyways. Uh, There's motor one. Yeah, forgot to turn it on. <laughs> I'm a dipstick. Right. They're a little slow because I don't want it moving the entire ship. <laughs> I did it before, but I only had one engine on, and it was that fast. It actually bounced and started twisting the ship. So, 
and I'll do that. So this should get to 90 degrees and stop. Um, there's not much detail on how the real Caterpillar ship will work in game yet because obviously we haven't got it. Um, but I will buy it when it is available in Star Citizen. But this is the gist of what I get. They'll probably go maybe a bit more than 90 degrees, you know, to help with braking possibly. But I don't know about that. They may, you know, bend for um, uh, you know, helping to go up and down in directional stuff. I'm not 100% sure on it. Let's see, this one's nearly at its 90 degrees. There you go. So that's how it's 90 down, and this one will get there eventually. So I'm doing it slowly just due to the fact that if I do do it too quick, it might break something. Now it's not 100% perfect. I could have probably done with doing the um, the cargo bays here at the front, maybe one or two blocks a bit wider. But I was trying to do. See, I started at the cargo and went my way back, so the cargo was maybe. Uh, I tried to do it from looking at the picture of the cargo bays, so it was it looked right to how my guy was inside it. And this is what I get. Obviously, you know, you don't get stiff, different sizes of blocks and stuff, so it's really hard to get really it perfect. But there's the engines down, as I say, unless I put a a cockpit on either side, I'm not going to be able to use these engines. They're just basically for show. Um, yeah. And then we just turn them both off a second while I do this. So that was plus. Now if I do that minus nineteen and do that one plus whoops yep, very much. I'll definitely snap it off. And then start them both up. That should rotate them back round to 90 degrees again, fingers crossed. Are they going? Yep, they're going. Now obviously because the motor is another, um, is a separate ship whenever you put it on. As I've said, these engines are going to be no good to me. Can't use them, they're just there for basically show. Now I know on the proper one, the front engines are um, where I've got the front engines is air intakes, but can't really do anything like that. So and they will now rotate right around to to 90 degrees again. And then is that? I'll chuck in a few pictures of the proper caterpillar so you can see what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video and please subscribe. And have a look through my other videos and see what you think. And if you like any of them, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.